Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and here I am once more in the beautiful Santa Monica Mountains and it's springtime. What more could anybody want? There's that, that um, oak tree that fell over, a California live oak tree, I bet you, a long time ago. And um, I took a video near it some years ago. And uh, growing up there is a sapling oak coming right out of the roots of the old. Kind of like spring itself, isn't it? So. Today is the day of uh, spring equinox. Winter uh, solstice is the day um, when there is the most darkness compared to the daylight hours. And summer solstice in June is the day when there is the most sunlight and that's a very glorious day. But the equinoxes, the spring and fall equinoxes, are days of equal day and night. And um, balance, peaceful I think, very peaceful days. And that's the thing that I've noticed uh, in the last week or so leading up to this equinox is an increasing sense of peace uh, everywhere. Delightful really. So I wish you, each of you, the peace and love and joy of this season, the springtime of hope for humankind, beautiful days of new life on new earth, and not too much fighting and feuding either. I, I'm sitting under a live oak tree right now. And there was just a big fight amongst the hummingbirds. They're very territorial, despite being extremely beautiful. And they just don't like when somebody else gets into their territory. So there was this huge fight. Quickly decided, thank goodness. <laughs> so, um, and that's a thing that I've noticed lately it has to do with how important it is to settle our differences right away in a kind of a, not like the hummingbirds so, and not like law and order either. Right now, the important thing is to forgive everybody of everything that has happened in the past. Just say, I forgive you and I forgive myself too for passing judgment and like that, you know. Passing judgment, wow, what a way to get stuck in karma. And since these are the days of what they call the end times or the new time of new beginning in our way of speaking, we can, we can rest assured that the issue of judgment will be taken care of. We don't have to do any judging just because we're seeing things more cl clearly than we used to. You know, so our job as human beings is to is to allow everyone to have their own free will and to step into whatever dimension or timeline they prefer and to just and to just be glad that we human beings have this experience of free will you know have the ability to do that to cheer each other on in that regard so Always to remember that if someone chooses a longer timeline, then they're stepping out of your timeline if your timeline is optimized. If someone chooses a dimension other than the heart, then they're stepping out of your dimension if you choose the heart, you see. And if someone chooses to stand um, for themselves and against all humankind or for their family and against all other families, 
or for their group or nation or culture and against all other cultures. And these are not your choices. If you choose the all, then you can be sure that they won't be in your dimension anymore. It'll be a different dimension and a different timeline, for sure. So, so why not allow everyone this handily contrived ability to have free will and, and, and yet not influence my free will? You know, yet it's hard, you know, because culturally speaking, we have, we have uh, become accustomed to the notion of law and order and not to the higher law, the law of the heart, the law, the law of light and love. I was rereading lately the, um, the Song of Anu, the Song of the Heart, it's on Judy Satori's website, uh, and it had an amazingly good effect on me. It was incredible, an amazing effect. Um, it, it opened my heart up just like that. Those ancient Egyptians had a good notion about it. And, um, and then, after my heart was like way open and full of joy and light and love, then I started hearing crowding around astral beings that were just taken aback by that light, you know. And lots of times those beings, they present themselves on the astral plane uh, in a way that is traditionally uh, out of favor with most religions. <laughs> and uh, there were some, some people in my community who were listening to this quite a commotion that was caused by the light of my heart, right? And, they, and more, more taken aback by the, by the noises that they were hearing on the astral plane. They have all become so psy. It's incredible, all the people in the communities around, everywhere I go. And, um, and so some of them, you know, were of belief systems. They just didn't believe in the astral plane or didn't believe in the variety, the great variety of flora and fauna, the different kinds of beings on the astral plane. And so that was their first experience of what, uh, in the Christian religion, for instance, is called um, the hell worlds, the demon realms and the, the places where Satan dwells and like that. Satan's not anywhere but here, you know. But when people feel the light of their hearts, when they feel Christ consciousness, or sing the song of, of the heart, or, or simply smile joyfully with everyone they meet, then the world, the opposite world, the anti-love world, the, the way of hatred is right in front of us and right within us but never touches us. Isn't that something? You know? So, so that is all part of this third and fourth dimensional reality. But it, we're partitioned off for it as the song of, of the hearts is feeling the heart feeling the love in the heart and the light of the heart partition us off from the darkness. Even here in 3D, in the physical realm, even in the dream time realm, the fourth dimension, none of that can touch us. They can, it's almost like, you know, they're knocking on the plexiglass <laughs> on the outside of our aura. They're going, hey, hey, what's in there, right? <laughs> in their own inimitable way. <laughs> so, <sighs> so I'm I'm trying right now. What I'm doing is um, whenever I see myself judging other people, I just go up to the eighth chakra up here. This this bow tie, and I just say. Um, You're safe, you're safe, you're safe, you're safe, you're safe. You're okay, you're okay, you're okay, you're okay, you're okay. Or you're okay. something else very reassuring. And I find that not only do I feel better about other people's hijinks, uh, but it seems like they feel better too. And it's a better conversation that I'm having.
with my electromagnetic field than I would have if I were uh, like upset about what other people are doing right now. These are these are interesting times, and uh, I think the thing to do is to to just surf the waves of light that are coming in and be kind to our own hearts. Just be kind to our, our physical bodies, our emotional bodies, and our mental bodies and just and just take time for ourselves so that so that our cells, our, our very body cells, will feel comfortable with this process of transformation. So that's all I have for you today. I'm wishing you the most happy, joyous, wonderful equinox and uh, another three months to come of beautiful light. Y'all take care. Love you lots. Bye-bye.